the Cleveland government is giving away free money to real estate investors. Real estate investors like me and real estate investors like you. And I am here to tell you how to get the money first and foremost. And then I will partner with you and operate your investment so you can do this investing from anywhere in the world and get the free government money and make some serious coin investing in Cleveland real estate. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I am here to help you accomplish your real estate goals, man. That's what I do on the show. That's what I do on Holton Wise TV. So please, if this is the first time you've been here, hit that motherfucking subscribe button. God damn, I got kids to feed. Woo! All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to talk about something that gets me excited. Free money from the government. Free money. Free money. We get some free money from the government, people. Free money from the government. And you know who I'm giving that money to? I'm giving that money to my guy, Jose. Jose, you're an investor from Florida. And you and I, brother, we've been working together trying to get you some Investment properties in Cleveland, because you like the pricing in Cleveland, and I'm sure you love free money just as much as I do, dog. And what you've been looking at is Airbnb rentals, because my team, we handle all the on-the-ground work for these Airbnb rentals, right? So the fact that you're in Florida, that's all good, dog, because we handle all the dirty work for you. We handle everything on the ground. Now, one thing I got to tell you, Jose, you told me you were looking to do a deal, uh, and you were hoping to stay around the 300K range. Now, I don't want you to get mad at me, playa, but this property, a little bit higher than that. Based on the amount of money you have, I know you can do the deal because uh, your cash reserves are more than enough to cover all you're going to need out of this one. You only need 137000 cash to do the deal. Of course, we'll get you a big old loan uh, for the rest of the deal, right? So I am aware, brother, that this property is a little bit higher than what we were planning on targeting. But, dude, this deal is too sweet uh, for me not to send you. Now, I just made you another video earlier, and that property falls right in line uh, with that 300K budget, right? So if you're really making a hard line on the budget, do the other deal, bro. Don't worry about doing this deal. But, man, I got to tell you, as an investor, this deal is too sweet to pass up, so I really thought I should show you. So without further ado, we're going to get into this Cleveland Airbnb property, and we are going to talk about how much free money the government's giving away so you can buy it, brother, right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. This is the good part of the show, right? This is the meat and the taters. The meat and the taters. Speaking of meat and taters, your boy Jay Wise, he eats a little bit too many meat and taters. So I got me some uh, Premier Protein uh, meal replacement shakes I'm uh, doing here. Now, this show is not sponsored by Premier Protein because I would probably be a horrible uh, model for a meal replacement shake. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. But Premier Protein, I'm talking to you now. If I uh, do end up losing some weight on this, y'all better hit my damn team up, sponsor these shows when I get them six pack. I'm just kidding, folks. There ain't gonna be no six packs. Your boy Jay Wise loves him some chicken wings. But hey, 
What in the hell am I doing? That's not what this show's about. Let's stop talking about my waistline and let's start talking about y'all's bank account, okay? The property, 1367 West 64th, Cleveland 44102. 449000 is the price. It says it's been on the market 78 days, but that's, that's misleading. Uh, it was off the market for a while. It was under contract. Looks like the buyer's financing fell through. Now we have the opportunity to bid on it. Let's see what the listing agent had to say about this investment. Gordon Square Full, uh, <clears throat> Gordon Square Full Century Home Renovation with Tax Abatement. The open floor plan is great for entertaining, and you will love all the architectural details and beauty of this home. The master bedroom is glorious with the vaulted ceiling and lofted space. This home has great light, state-of-the-art appliances, plenty of storage, and a great yard space. You'll love being so close to all Gordon Square as to offer the beach, restaurant, shopping. You'll definitely want to check out this beautiful home. Sounds pretty good, right? Let's take a look. Is it as beautiful as they say? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Big, beautiful, brand new, totally refurbished, rebuilt home. It's, it's nice. Got the tray ceilings like this. This is luxury, man. This this is really good, right? This is going to wow the guests who are looking to do their Airbnb stays in Cleveland, right? We're providing them two types of wow factor here, folks. We're providing them two things. We're wowing them with the interior, right? This obviously shows well. Like, these pictures make this look impeccable, right? Imagine after we put in a bunch of sweet furniture, big screen TVs, really set the stage, right? These people, they're going to love it, right? And they're going to pay a premium for that, right? In addition to that, it's the neighborhood. As the listing agent said, it's in Gordon Square, right? So you get them a beautiful, beautiful place to stay, luxury place to stay. And it's in a luxury neighborhood, man. Gordon Square, it's one of the hottest neighborhoods in Cleveland. You talk about gentrification, the resurgence of Cleveland, being close to downtown, shopping, all that jazz. That's what it is. Here's a little shot of the basement, right? We're not going <laughs> to include a shot of the basement uh, in the listing. But back to the neighborhood real quick, and then I want to get into that basement. Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City. These are the hot spots in Cleveland. These uh, also like University Circle area, Little Italy. Like These are like the hubs, right? These are where everything is happening, right? So when you talk about in, like incredible demand for your guests, when people are coming to Cleveland, these are like the places they want to stay, right? This is where it's all happening. You're right there. Arts District is amazing. Then you got all the stuff downtown, right? You got the Rock Hall, the Browns, the Indians, the Cavs, the Casino, you know, the whole night, right? You're talking about anybody coming to Cleveland, this is where they want to be, right? Now, that basement, okay? That basement. Looked a little old, looked a little dingy, didn't it? You didn't expect the basement to look like that, did you? Now, here is the thing with the tax abatement, okay? I just want to make sure you're all aware of this, right? If you're going to invest in Cleveland real estate, my job is to make sure you understand what's going on. Cleveland is doing 15-year tax abatements on new construction, okay? They're targeting the city of Cleveland, because they want stuff like this to happen. They want places like Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City to be part of the resurgence, to have all this gentrification. This 15-year tax abatement is government helping investors together, working as a team to try to rise the tide, right, to try to gentrify these neighborhoods, and it's absolutely worked, right? So unlike some some places, right, where the government, like places like California or New York, where it's just constantly kicking investors in the nuts, right, the government's working with investors to make everything better. That's why these neighborhoods are in such high demand. Now, the way this tax credit works, this tax abatement works, is you do not have to pay. You do not have to pay property taxes on the building. For 15 years, right? Now, you have to pay it on the land, but land in Cleveland, Ohio is not very expensive. You don't have to pay it on what's been constructed so long as it meets green building standards. Now, you're looking at the basement. You're like, whoa, dude, that basement looked a little old, James. And it's 2021, dog. It's not 1920. You said new construction. Yes, new construction or if you do such an extensive rehab, and I'm talking like you're literally tearing this thing down to complete studs, 
basically nothing, just the basement foundation, and you're building up so much of it brand new, it can also qualify. Now, before investors get all these crazy ideas and start thinking about what rehab will qualify for this tax abasement, it's nothing like a, a, like a cosmetic rehab, guys. You're not getting the tax abatement for doing a roof for replacing floors, uh, repainting walls, shit like that. No, it's pretty much complete overhaul. It's basically got to be an extensive renovation to where it's almost new construction, right? Honestly, I think you actually can construct ground up stuff uh, cheaper than actually trying to renovate century homes. Uh, but you get some people that are into the artsy fartsy stuff that like doing that, like to, you know, take advantage of that. I don't know, the demographic of people that are excited that it's like a century home uh but don't think that like anytime you all do like a tenant turnover you're getting a tax abatement or this or that right uh in my opinion if it were me uh and i had like a century old home that was like totally distressed i would just tear the whole thing down and, and completely start fresh right uh but some people like to do it this way but it's essentially new construction okay and that's how you qualify for the abatement new construction under the uh green building stuff okay so what we have awesome neighborhood awesome luxury looking property totally tax abated for the next 15 years what do the numbers look like? How much money does it make us? Well, if we rented it every day, we'd be looking at 148800 in revenue. But we're not going to do that, folks. No, no, no. Here is the chart. Breaks it down, right? We should get an average of 400 a night because we're in an awesome neighborhood and we've provided a beautiful luxury product. But we're still going to have vacancy, right? Almost 40% of vacancy, right? This is short-term rentals. We're not going to be able to fill it every day, right? It's just not possible. Sorry, it doesn't happen. Uh, these are numbers historically taken from Airbnb's data themselves, right? So, you know, I know Cleveland quite well, uh, but Airbnb is a great place to get uh, data, right? So after all of that, after you pay me uh, to have my team totally handle everything, you're looking at a net operating income average of 57992 right? So I think you're make, making almost $58,000 a year off this investment as far as pricing goes, okay? They're asking 449 as I said. It's misleading that it's been on the market 78 days. It just popped back on the market, and guess what? It's going to be a bidding war. People are going to want this thing. People are going to be moving on this. You got to move quick. So they're asking 449. Let's just come in at 450. Don't try to dick around with the lowball offer. Take the sucker down. Take the free money from the government. That's why it's available. There's a line of people that want to buy this. Okay, so 450. We don't have to do us nothing in regards to renovating it. Right? It looks beautiful. Of course, we just need to furnish it. Right? 25k. It's an all-in investment of 475, right? All you need to put up of that 475 is 137. That's your down payment of 112 plus your 25k of the furnishings. Bank kicks in the other 337 and a half. That, folks, is going to net out to a cash-on-cash cash return of approximately 30%. And you know what I would do with this sucker? I would hold it for the full 15 years, not pay any taxes on that building only pay the tiny little taxes you have to pay on the lot and then at year 15 i'd sell the son of a bitch probably for a nice profit because we're talking about places that are gentrifying places that are seeing appreciation in cleveland this is one of the best neighborhoods to bet on ton of money here folks let me know what you want to do thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment